Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted unto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. My heart will see no other name, Jesus, Jesus, my heart will sing, no other name, Jesus, lift your hands and lift your voice and let's worship you. voices my heart will sing yeah. no other name Jesus Jesus my heart will sing the name that is above sickness the name that can change the destiny of any man Jesus
Ranta Caprada Ganabala Dabas Caprada Capas Go ahead, Koinonia, edify your spirit. Shena Manana Maniana Bas Caprada Ganabala Dabas Shena Manana Mosu Mariana Dabas Lekata Prata Garapos Soprato Subaria Shaprabas Caprada Balada 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 Bacaria Dabala what the prophesied generation, a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a tithe, a specimen. Revealers of his power, dispensers of his realities. Make sure you're praying. You're doing something to your spirit. Activating the operation of faith. 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 Participate in the prayer. Make sure you are praying. Casting crowns, lifting hands, bowing hearts is what we come to do. Casting round, lifting hands, bowing hearts is what we come to do. We will rise in your name. We will rise in your name. I know not. You reign on high. We will rise. Oh, hallelujah. In your name. The lifter of men, the one who can change the story. You reign on high. You reign on high. I don't know. I don't The lifter of men. I don't The exalter of destiny. I don't Emmanuel, 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 your name is called Emmanuel.
Lord, I'm not here to complain about my many struggles, but by your spirit and your grace, I'm confident you'll solve them. But this is why I'm here. I'm here to say I love you. time as the deer pants for the water as the water so the Special number. I'm seeking you as a precious jewel. I'll be your You are my all in all. Lift your hands, lift your voice, and let's acknowledge you. Yeah. When I am weak, you are the treasure that I see. Not to give up. I'll be a fool. You are my own. Jesus, we acknowledge you. Mortal men empowered by a dimension of reality beyond this realm doing wonders in the name of the Lord. Jesus, we truly bless you. We truly bless you. We truly bless you. We truly bless you. We truly love you. We truly bless you. We're not using you. We love you. Take me deeper, deeper in love with you, Jesus, hold me close to your embrace, 
Take us deeper Deeper than we've ever been before For we just want to love you more and more Now I know Jesus, Jesus, what a wonder you are. Jesus, 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 what a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus, what a wonder you are. Beautiful rose of Shara, what a wonder you are. Beautiful rose of Shara, what a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus. Don't look at me, go ahead and worship him. tribe of Judah what a wonder you are I like you to pray and say Lord see what you've made out of my life how could I be ungrateful I want you to reflect in one minute look what he's done in and through your life the psalmist said if the Lord had not been by my side now may Israel say but thou O oh Lord I had a shield for me my glory and the lifter of my head but thou and a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. Sing it as a revelation. But I will add a shield for me, my glory. we love you this is why we are here to express our love you have been good to us we cannot deny your hand in our midst you have been good to me I see your goodness all around I see your faithfulness and Lord together with your people we acknowledge you some may trust in horses, some may trust in chariots, some may trust in their intelligence. Lord, but find the people tonight who trust only in the name of our God. You have wiped our tears, you have, you have exalted us and given us a name. We return to Before we continue in one minute, I'd like you to honestly open your mouth and tell the Lord that area of challenge in your life. That area that is making you to not praise God the way you should. Lord, I want to praise you, but this finances is eating me up. I want to praise you, but my health. Lift your voice. 
in one minute talk to him be very sincere and open before your maker Because we believe, that's why we are here. Jesus, hear the cry of your people. You see their pains and you see their hurts. Who oh, but you, O oh God, is able to wipe their tears and give them testimonies? As the glory of your presence moves all over this place. Spare not your hand, O oh God, stretch it. Touch your people. Hallelujah. Jesus, we enthrone you. Participate in the worship is doing something to your spirit. Standing in the midst of all, we raise you high with our praise. Saints of God, let's worship the mighty one. And as we time as we worship as we worship of worship you are not just singing worship engages the law of exchange it's like an intercourse between a man and his wife there is a transference of virtue right from the man to his wife give her time there will be evidence of that transference we call it pregnancy then she will give birth to a child that symbolizes her union with her husband this meeting is called koinonia there are many dimensions you enter into not just by preaching the atmosphere of his glory brings you into it all of a sudden you walk and find out that certain things become possible resolutions are happening in your spirit as you are worshiping it's not just about songs it's not just about songs surrender is happening as you worship conviction happening healings miracles impartations so don't you think we are wasting our time if this is all we do today you will never be the same mike said something when he came up he said if buhari comes to greet you right if if obama comes to greet you their presence has an implication on your destiny let me tell you god does not just come he's invoked is the same way you invoke the spirit of a man and it is worship that invokes him he chooses the dimension he wants to reveal to the people and then he causes them to sing him in that dimension to come hallelujah so please i i don't want you to be careless with this worship it's a little moment of worship but let me tell you a lot can happen 
I worship you, great I am. You are mighty in this place. I worship you, King of kings. You are strong at rest and one. I lift my hands in worship as I sing praises to your name. I lift my hands in worship as I sing praises to your name. I lift my hands. As I sing praises to your name, I lift my hand in worship. As I sing praises to your name, Sujada Nena King. Godia nena ke Godia Godia Sujada nena ke To the mighty God Godia nena ke Godia Godia Sujada nena ke Sujada Sujada Godia nena ke Sujada nena ke Godia nena ke Sujada nena ke Mai che dona Godia nena ke Sujada nena ke Ya Yesu Godia nena ke Mai pasa Sujada nena ke
get to points in our lives where we think it's a waste of time to say thank you may we never get to any height in our life where we become ashamed and embarrassed where we see it as a waste of time to acknowledge you the bible says in all thy ways acknowledge you it says and he shall direct your path hallelujah please sit down if you can listen don't just come to koinonia to receive revelations come to learn wisdom especially those of us in ministry there is a force that backs your ministry when you can lead congregations to thank god in this listen please let's settle down in this time of ingratitude always complaining lord you would have done this thank you for the one you have done and we pass it very fast and then we begin to talk about the one he has not done it pays to be thankful and it pays to express gratitude lavishly this is the secret one of the biggest secrets in my life it's one of the biggest secrets in this ministry i can thank him and roll from end to end when david danced before god the daughter of saul who was his wife said no you are you should know that your status has changed and saul i mean um, um who was that david looked at her and said i am dancing before the god who took the kingdom from your father and gave to me hallelujah when you see something happening in your life and it's not happening everywhere thank god for it because that means it's not commercial when you see results in your life you see people's prayer point as your testimony thank god for it are we together yes. god bless you good evening everyone tonight i want to over the next few weeks i'm going to be challenging us on our spiritual lives our spiritual growth we have taught on the principles of the kingdom but i want to challenge us to make progress in our personal lives as far as the knowledge of god not just his ways his person so i'll be challenging us along that thought and um I have a very strong burden and a desire in my heart tonight and I'm trusting that God will grant grace to be able to speak to us. Let our hearts be opened. Isaiah 40, please. We'll read from verse 1 to 5 and then I'll teach on a few things and we'll pray. I trust God that uh, I'll be very brief tonight. It's a series so we can build from it. Let's see how we can pray. Um, Media, please get ready. Maybe at some point you may give us worship as we pray together. Isaiah 40. Are you there? Say amen. God is doing something in your life every week. As we gather in his presence, he's changing us. His word does not change people by default. His word must be explained, must be understood, must be believed, received, and acted upon. Then there will be results. The word of God does not change you by default. Are we together? Verse 1 to 5. Comfort ye, comfort ye my people, saith your God. 2. Help us, media, please. Speak ye comfortably to jerusalem he says and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished that her iniquity is pardoned for she hath received of the lord's hand double for all her sins verse 3 the voice of him that crieth in the wilderness prepare ye the way of the lord make straight in the desert a highway for our god we're reading to verse 5 every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill shall be made low and the crooked shall be made straight and the rough places plain let's read verse 5 together 
one to read and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord had spoken it one more time and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord hallelujah I'm going to be challenging us today and the next few weeks we're going to be discussing on um, several dimensions of the supernatural uh, it includes our understanding of the glory our understanding of ourselves you see the way God designed the kingdom the way God designed spiritual progress is such that you know yourself by studying Jesus Christ are we together the only way you know yourself is by studying Jesus Christ are we together in the kingdom your relevance and your person is a derivative of all that Christ is so he is our project of pursuit please listen he is our project of study the Bible says looking up to Jesus the word looking up does not just mean looking, paying attention, pegging your focus on him. It's the same description that was given in Acts chapter 4 when he said, look on us. Pay attention, we're about to do something that will change your life. So he says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher. Let me start by saying something. There is a formula for growing spiritually. Please everyone pay attention. God is making you become something mighty. There is a formula for spiritual growth. You do not grow spiritually just by prayer, just by fasting, just by studying the Bible. There is a formula. Are we together? If you have cement, sand, and zinc, do you have a house? No. You have the materials for a house. But the construction requires that the foundation is below are we together and the zinc is above if you take the zinc and put it in the foundation zinc is required for building but does that make a house so many of us combine spiritual things we pray here we fast here we read our bibles here but what we are becoming is not christ it means that our combination to create the pattern that will make us like christ is faulty so there is prayer in our lives i agree are we together there is fasting in our lives i agree there is the study of the word there's studying books there is corporate fellowship but to what degree it's just like you're cooking rice you apply many ingredients but not at the same level and not in the same quantity are we together the quantity of rice you put is not the same quantity of salt are we together if you put all of them at that level as good as they are they will not produce that are we together so the first picture is to find out what god intends for you to become and that pattern man according to scripture is the christ not just jesus the christ there is a big difference between jesus and the christ jesus was made the christ god's anointed god's model for the believer are we together now now please listen and pay attention as i build on these things tonight because they are very important for our spiritual growth according to god's design for spiritual growth the journey of a believer hear me should always start with an encounter of the person christ not an encounter with prosperity not an encounter with healing not an encounter with breakthrough are we together now you must meet the person Christ the encounter with the person Christ is the only legitimate way to begin to navigate the kingdom properly if at any time you are found exploring spiritual growth outside of the encounter with the person christ your growth will be imbalanced and you may delve into witchcraft are we together jesus said it this way i am 
the way in other words it is when you meet me that you can be sure that the path you are taking is correct are we together now there are so many believers listen who want to grow spiritually but we think the secret to spiritual growth is just rema now i've taught on different things i've taught on principles of the kingdom are we together now but let me tell you the truth the foundation of spiritual growth is not principles it's encounter an encounter with a person not his laws a person you can know the laws of tithing you can know the laws of church growth you can know all the laws that we have taught and yet not know jesus as a person you can know him as a religious figure that you strolled on stage here to confess him but you must encounter the person jesus are we together now i think i was discussing we're discussing this morning with Ejimi how that and i say this with all humility i'm so touched seeing our people this the way god started out with us please listen this is a very strong foundation the path of spiritual progress that god started with us and that's the path i have led and taught people for years and all those who have followed this path have grown properly that is your spiritual journey listen when you come into christ your first assignment is to pursue god with a reckless abandonment not to pursue financial principles are we together not to pursue relationship and love a marriage husband and wife right girlfriend concubine, all these kinds of things not to pursue them now but the problem we have with the church now and this is very serious it's a serious issue is that you find believers who come to christ the moment they get born again they never care to find out this person called Christ who is God's idea, God's pattern man. Are we together? What we do is we go and gather tapes which are important and we start indoctrinating ourselves with Greek and Hebrew words and start building our spiritual conviction on the fact that we are privy to certain informations and that we are able to quote scripture and then the moment we think we are anointed the next thing is we're thinking of starting ministry or we're thinking of relationship let me tell you something and i need you to hear this and learn because it's important you follow i was telling a jimmy years ago when you got born again in e and i here for a long time you had no business with men or women you didn't even know who was male or female are we together when you got born again there was fire everywhere fire there was no room to even see human beings all you saw was fire morning till night are we together our joke was the presence of god our fun was the presence of god it was never about rema it was never even about anointing it was never about ministry it was about a hungry people desperate for a revelation and an encounter are we together yes that was the foundation so people's prayer life was not just to get prophecy and go and give people and build churches i would some of you were part of these things are we together but right now there is a lot of catastrophe happening in our spiritual growth the average person gets born again and in four months he has a son he has a daughter are we together now moving around calling everybody my son my daughter i am pastor this i am prophet this i am apostle this they now look for one 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 church somewhere and, and start yoking themselves to rent to start organizing evening service church service double service uh, um, morning and afternoon service and all kinds of things i am telling you this if you follow that pathway you will never find god there is a formula to finding god are we together that's why you find out that everyone by the grace of god that we raised regardless of what they are doing that there is a level of backsliding you can't get to 
because of how you were trained. No matter how backward you are, Kai, there is a level to which your conscience will not leave you. The level of godliness we enforce was at a high standard. Even those we call backsliders are qualified to be pastors in many churches. Are we together? Yeah. But right now, there are people who have no business looking for husband and wife. That's their object of pursuit. Take what I'm saying very seriously. There are some of us here, let me tell you, at your level of spiritual growth, you shouldn't be looking at any woman whatsoever under no circumstance. Same thing for ladies. Because you see, people got into relationships and married. It was God himself that had to turn the faces of people and say, look, you have tried, you have labored in my vineyard. I think it's time to get married. But right now, people come to church from day one as they are sharing the grace you are pursuing somebody you don't know anything about how can we see now we are a member of koinonia that spirit will rob you of passion because your motive is not genuine are we together so the object they were people who never had revelation but they had presence you come close to them you know they know god they may not be able to explain everything yet they don't understand the principle. We walked in many results way before we understood the dynamics. Our hunger took us to that level. It was later on God started saying, this is what you are doing. And we said, ah, so this is it. Because you see, when you love God, you are not looking for what to get from Him. You want to walk with Him. Is God helping us? So I think that's the number one thing we have to correct. I can tell you over 70% of our prayer requests here is tied to things we want, not the pursuit of God. Counseling that time was not, this guy doesn't love me. There is Emeka, there is Gideon, there is Gabriel. Which one is the will of God? It was never, almost never part of counseling. Counseling was, I had an encounter yesterday. I need you to explain to me. Are we together? I searched a scripture and while I was studying the glory of God came upon me sir what is the meaning of that we look forward to night times because night times were officially the times of Holy Ghost baptism so everybody will get people feel the Holy Spirit and will discuss it but right now you see a lot of people supposedly with a love for God listen to me very carefully but that hunger that appetite for spiritual things is even those who we call men of god are looking for revelation because it looks like in our generation of the is revelation that will give you a seat let me tell you there is a dimension revelation stops it will take presence brothers and sisters ah. so we do not know the god we claim to represent we even fast and pray but our motives are corrupt we are fasting because you are saying kind i've been intimidated i saw a jimmy giving a word of knowledge abba if it's the kingdom it's also for me and then we go to fast are we together now and there is pride and arrogance people don't sit down to listen and learn the word again everybody is a man of god are we together everybody is a man of god we are only colleagues trying to grow together. That dangerous and devilish spirit, we must cast it out of the church in this city, around and as far as God's grace can take, and we cast it in the name of Jesus. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? The foundation of your spiritual pursuit cannot be things. I see how many of us are obsessed with money. We want to do well. Every time you look at people, you see a Jimmy's tie and you are wondering how many thousand is this tie. When we were together, that time, nobody cared who your father was. We sat on the floor. It wasn't even in a carpet. On the floor. How you will know people were madly in love with God was, we had some of our ladies that we would call Ajebo ladies. You see those ladies rolling in the sand under the anointing with their hair and all their guy and they love God in the rain. You heard David sharing his testimony. 
that sometimes in the rain it was not about noticing me but now you see christians we say pray in tongues you pray for five minutes you're cleaning your mouth whether there's saliva honestly in my opinion you are not going far i can guarantee you is god helping us this is a series to challenge us god desires men and women who have paid the price to be his image carriers reflectors of his person but there is a key it does not start with looking for rema it starts with a hunger for a person i hunger and thirst for you in a dry and weary land for all i want is you when i started out in ministry i didn't know they used to give honorarium listen i never knew they used to give honorarium years ago i was invited to a church not too far from feeling said here we were living in front there it was raining heavily and i knew god's people needed to listen i was so passionate i prayed i fasted i prepared and the rain was heavy and you know the way that place is there was a pool of water and i said no nothing will stop me from blessing people it's a privilege to bless god's people a derivative of my love for god not pursuit of ministry i came out in the rain i was praying in tongues with joy and with my bible it was steve strings who saw me around the church he came out with an umbrella to stop me i was quite humiliated in that service but i didn't care it was a privilege are we together we inconvenienced ourselves with joy i remember one time when we were preparing for crusade we needed a lot of money our hunger for god a jimmy then he was the only one among us who had computer right and he put it up for sale put it up for sale passion and hunger but today we see the results of people we do not want their hunger but we want their results how foolish are we together there are many ladies who come to church now and you, you may see people like shade all these ladies that have been with us you just think oh they just love god these ladies were trained like men we didn't train anybody it was not gender if we prayed for five hours whoever was there child boy girl will participate that was how people were built Is God speaking to us? Let me tell you why many of us have not been able to experience the glory of God in our lives. It's not just about getting Rema, packaging 10,000, kneeling down to receive a quick impartation. You now run and go and tell your members, I just came from Zaria. <laughs> you can't imagine what I'm carrying. No. A hunger. Everybody say hunger. Shout it, hunger. A hunger for God that drives you to his presence. Our fasting was not for things. I'm telling you, it was truly to know him. Then we had our spots. When it was daytime, everybody had his corner. Those to the dam. Those on top of buildings. Are we together? I was telling Ejimi, one of our tiny ladies, she was very, very small. Very small. You see her around 2 o'clock with her rechargeable. Don Muen song to put on her socks very tiny it's as if the rechargeable was 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 a bag of rice that's how she will hold it and that lady will come out around four and don't forget that there was lecture in the morning but people traveled it was a sacrifice and a passionate love for god but you get born again and you say lord i'm born again where is the man 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 you hear discussions of believers love relationship uh, marriage children Hapa. as if god is irresponsible sisters hear me i'm challenging you i'm telling you the quickest way to get a husband forget about it and pursue god let every man come and meet you ardently in love with god let god be the one to give you to a man you keep giving yourself and, and you see what happens you let him give you and for our brothers listen i've challenged us on establishment i've challenged us in many things but let me tell you there is no establishment outside of an encounter with god 
because demons are real you can build the house you can buy the car but you need an encounter are we together everybody shout i need an encounter this is the foundation people had dreams not i don't mean dreams of i'm a champion dreams of i am pressing into god you would see people who would get born again the lifespan of catching fire was one week after seven days i'll never forget you remember a jimmy one gentleman who used to sleep on the bridge remember that man that man got born again filled with the holy spirit he was addicted he would sit down inside chapel from morning till night he was sleeping under the bridge in flyover that's the kind of fire if you were born again your born again had to be genuine there was a strict system you pass through from being born again straight there was a brief session and then filled with the holy ghost you, you will pray, we will hear. If we don't verify, we'll do it again. You had to be praying in fluent tongues. And there was a system that engaged your spirit. Everybody around you was too serious for carnality to find expression. You talked about women, you'll be alone. Because everybody was searching the Bible. Our discussions. Was he Hades or Gehenna? That was our discussion. But you hear people who just got born again i'm challenging us this is the reason why several people may not find god ministry ask a jimmy how many people spoke to me about churches and branches you remember sir oh man of god pfn were willing to give us an auditorium trained pastors just to come and start a church and i went back and god said no you will die we were so obsessed with seasons. We denied ourselves certain doors even though they were open to wait for seasons. But right now, everybody wants glorification. Wants lifting. Hmm? A lady of 25 under pressure. Time is passing. 25. A brother of, of, of 27. In, in four months, you have asked 20 ladies out. What is wrong with you? Are we together? Look at pastors. Pastors don't, don't they don't press into God. You never see them having retreats. They are watching football. They are traveling. They are doing ministry. What ministry do you have outside of his presence? Are we together? Daytime was for study. Night time was for ministry. That's what we did. I know how people ran away if they even called you pastor. Pastor this. We, we, we ran away from it. But some of us quarrel everybody. You are calling me what? What did I hear you call me? John, me? The day you try that thing again, I will curse you. God truly found our heart. We loved him with everything. Are we together? That time, the cooler ministry was not for relationship. The cooler ministry was to propagate encounters. Because we're tired, laboring there. Sometimes they would look and our sisters would carry cooler. It was not that they were looking for husband. It was their contribution. The ministry of Dorcas. Genuinely for fire. Please, Koinonia, hear me. I'm telling you the truth from the depth of my heart. When you find God, you find wealth. When you find God, you find relevance. When you find God, you find everything. Are we together? Yes. My first challenge for us as we attempt to build this series is return to the place where you seek God. Write this down. What is an encounter? An encounter is not necessarily a vision. An encounter is not necessarily a, a supernatural transportation to the realm of heaven. That's not what I'm talking about necessarily. An encounter, listen, is an experience you have with God that furnishes the reality of his person. The reality. An encounter is God making himself real to you. 
revealing his presence to you whether in a seat in the secret place whether as you labor in the study of the word are we together people who were non-christians when they got born again in two weeks because of the atmosphere of encounter their lives changed that's why people like Maman came and you see what God is doing with him today he has become a great and mighty man of God encounters are we together pregnant women have testimonies that while teaching was going on their children would just keep quiet no movement no pushing until it was time for prayers let me tell us the truth there is too much distraction this is what stops the voice of God this is what stops a lot of things we are distracted I'm not necessarily talking of, when I talk of distraction I'm not necessarily talking of maybe immorality like drunkenness necessarily we are distracted looking for things around God and not himself we are studying the seven rivers of power why not study him as a person we pride ourselves at these things. So you find out that people mock themselves with messages. We come and preach messages we do not have the experience to defend. Is God speaking to us? Please, if you're a pastor here or you're in ministry, listen to me. Return to the place of encounter. That's your greatest publicity. Lead me, Lord, I will follow. Lead me, Lord, I will go. You have called me, and I will answer. Lead me, Lord, I will. Lead me, Lord, I will follow. Lead me, Lord, I will go. You have called me, and I will answer. his glory God desires listen he did not just save us to take us to heaven please I like you to pay attention to what I'm sharing with you God did not save us just so we can become Christians his intention was to make us revelations of his glory write that word glory down the word glory is from the Hebrew word kabod the Greek is doxa and the expression of the word glory is the essence of a man whatever makes that man who he is his wealth his wisdom his intelligence is called his glory so god's desire the eternal counsel of god is that christ becomes a reflection of the glory of the father the church the ecclesia in partnership with the holy spirit now becomes the revelation of the glory of the christ christ has reflected the glory of the father in his death burial and resurrection his exaltation what is left right now is for the church to align so much with the spirit that we become perfect reflectors of the glory of christ another word for glory is the possibilities of a man a man's glory is the extent of his possibilities so god wants us to reveal the multifaceted dimensions of his possibilities glory can never be appreciated until it is revealed until it is revealed until it is made manifest the word became flesh right the word locked up in the realm of the spirit became flesh and dwelt among men he says and we beheld his glory god desires for his glory to be seen 
He desires for his multifaceted dimension to find expression in every territory. But that dimension, the conduits, the custodians of the glory of God are not things, not handkerchiefs, not Goya oils, human beings. Are we together? God's predeterminate counsel is for every one of us under the sound of my voice to become perfect reflectors, manifestors of a divine life, a divine reality that transcends this realm. The glory of God is a revelation of everything that makes God God. So when miracles happen, that's the glory of God finding expression. Are we together? Yeah. When signs and wonders happen, and some, in Isaiah 40, the Bible says that God desires, we were made for his glory, that all flesh will see it. But there is a pathway that brings the sons of light to glory. This is what I am teaching us. I really desire that our lives become limitless conduits, communicators of all the dimensions that can be in Christ. So when men look at you, you are half man and half something else because you are a communicator of a reality that is beyond this realm. Your life is supernatural in every way. Because you are functioning from a realm, a possibility and a reality. You are reflecting a man who is not limited. Only limited by our disalignment. Is God speaking to us? John chapter 2. The wedding in Cana. Let's look at verse 11. The Bible stated something very important there. Is God blessing us already? Tonight's teaching is going to challenge us. John 2, let's just look at verse 11. Everyone please read. One, two, read. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and did what? Stop. Hold on. It says Jesus used miracles as a conduit to manifest his glory. When he performed these miracles, it was a turning of water to wine are we together now the bible says in doing that because he aligned to the father so much to an extent that the father could find expression through him to do an impossible thing he said he manifested forth his glory as a result people his disciples believed him let me translate this to you as a result the convictions of men over god became stronger you know why our convictions are very small there are very few dispensers of the glory of God. Are we together? There are very few people who are truly prototypes of the possibilities that can be in God. You see the wisdom of men like ordinary people. Their intelligence like ordinary people. What everybody is crying about is what you cry about. There is nothing supernatural about your life. You are not a dispenser of the glory. Your words are empty, as empty as any philosopher's words. No backing, no authority, no power, no government, no throne. Nothing backs you. This beginning of miracles, he said, did Jesus, just verse 11. And he said, he manifested his glory. And as a result, the disciples believed. They believed. The essence of the faith life is not just to go to heaven. The essence of the faith life is not just to capture us from sin to become heaven bound. God's ultimate desire that will never change is that he will find a people who can be an expression of all that Christ is. It is God's desire that his multifaceted possibilities, all the dimensions that make him God, he wants it to find expression here. His healing, his wealth, his miracles, the possibilities, everything. So Christ is our model. The same way Christ aligned to reflect the glory of the Father. Right? In John 17, don't turn there, we'll turn there later on. Jesus was speaking and he said, Father, he said, now glorify thy son. 
to the end that thy son will glorify you by reflecting your glory in theology we call it the reflection principle where you reflect the glory of your superior and the one below you is the one who reflects your glory you never reflect your glory you reflect the glory of the one you submit to so jesus reflects the glory of the father the church reflects the glory of the son the systems reflect the glory of the church this is the eternal counsel of god but there is something wrong because our understanding does not permit God to go with us to that extent where he can reflect his glory to us. So there is little of healing, little of prosperity, little of alignment, little of result from prayer, little in a congregation of 5,000 people, you have two testimonies. It's a shame to the revelation of the glory of God. I know we clap about it and we thank God, but honestly, it is a shame. Are we together? God's glory cries for expression. He wants everything that he is to find expression through our lives. But the question is, are you willing to let your life become a conduit of that glory? Look at Jesus. Look at Jesus. When there was a storm, everybody waited for the arrival of Jesus because his arrival was a revelation of the kingdom. The kingdom had come right when he stepped into a house they knew there was a miracle who what do we expect when you show up trouble blessings if i shake your hand pastor femi come please if pastor femi shakes my hand should something not change in my life but does it happen you see the reason why they don't value your shake because it never produced any result. The last time you prayed for somebody, they begged you and said, pray for me. You prayed and nothing happened. You met them after a long time. You said, any result? You said, absolutely nothing. I don't know what you did to me, but from that prayer, my life just knows dive. There is no manifestation of the glory. There is an extent of glory by the grace of God that we have been able to manifest. And this is what is responsible for everyone coming to sit down. You are coming to behold a dimension of the glory are we together when there are healings there are miracles when the word of god comes and its power to transform it is a revelation of glory when a barren woman all of a sudden gets healed is a revelation of a dimension of god when you master the laws of kingdom wealth and in an economy that is nose diving your life is rising up like the ark of noah something is different about your life that's the revelation of the glory of God. The idea is not just heaven. The idea is a flawless life based on our alignment to the Christ. Is God speaking to us? Jesus is the revelation of the Father's glory. And the church was designed to be the revelation of the glory of the Christ here on earth. The ecclesia, the church, the Catholic church, the universal church. We were designed by God to be the reflectors. In other words, anytime people need to see Jesus, they should look for a Christian. Did you know that our presence should stop the frustration in the earth? Because we are the representatives of the government of Christ. So in every territory, when there is any challenge, when somebody sees a Jimmy, they say, thank God. What dimension of the glory of God has been committed to him? They are sure that that dimension will be dispensed and there will be solutions. But we are largely part of the problem in the earth. And this is why our voices are not heard as the church of God. We are part of the many world's religions. Nothing supernatural about our lives. They shake you. Somebody sleeps on the same bed with you. Demons oppress him the way they have been oppressing him from his room before he came. There is no presence of the divine life. There is no presence of an atmosphere. Oh, come on. No, it should never happen that way. The Bible says there is this treasure. Where? Not in heaven. In earthen vessels. There is this treasure in earthen vessels. 
careers of the divine life communicating something very deep and very spiritual that is who you are if you think you are just a christian who is should just be planted you know to a church taking communion on sunday praying during prayer meetings you will short circuit your understanding and the revelation of christ in you everyone say in the name of jesus say in the name of jesus my life must reflect the glory the power the wisdom the life the possibilities of christ jesus yes when people are stranded the moment you show up you bring a reality your speakings right it says my heart is indicting a good matter yea i speak of excellent things it says my tongue is the pen of a ready writer so that when you come up and you begin to speak i never expect to speak and you say wow that was an interesting contribution no because i'm speaking by the spirit are we together yes this is the foundation of true spiritual growth the rewards of an encounter with christ the glory of god finds greater space in and through your life you become a blessing everybody wants to be around you because that's what happened to jesus christ they don't have to know you let me tell you one way you know the glory of god is on you you become what the bible calls delightsome have you heard that word delightsome delightsome does not mean beautiful and men are following you for marriage or or you have money in your pocket and ladies want you to marry them into a life of peace that's not what i'm talking about that there is something on your life it's magnetic people come to sit down close to you and say i don't know why i've never shared this with anybody but there is a challenge in my life there is the glory of god dogs are a revelation of his person in you this series is meant to uh, to not just challenge you but also activate something in your life are we together say i'm a dispenser of the glory of god say one more time i'm a dispenser of the glory of god john 11 verse 40 jesus said something remarkable that was the story of the resurrection of lazarus from the dead john 11 let's look at verse 40 please read it together everyone is projected for time's sake one to read jesus said unto her said i not unto thee that if thou would believe thou should what if thou will believe the key to experiencing the glory of god in your life is your conviction do you believe do you believe that you can see jesus said it himself he said if you can believe nothing will stop you from seeing my glory you can see my glory in prayer you can see my glory in signs and wonders if you believe the word believe is a very interesting word because it's not just the word agree it's the word conviction you can it's not just an awareness like i agree with you but i am persuaded about this reality pastor femi is a pastor of rema i am persuaded i'm not trying to agree i i know it is true and nobody can convince me otherwise that's what it means to believe faith now becomes the action you take based on that conviction are we together jesus himself said if you believe you will see the glory of god so if i believe my body can become a superconductor of the anointing and the presence of god and the same way brothers and sisters if i have tuberculosis and i come close to a jimmy what will happen to him please answer me what will happen to him we call them communicable diseases right because they can be transferred it's not whether he agrees with me or not i am a carrier of that disease he just needs to come to the atmosphere and he's implicated he gets tuberculosis are we together that means i can carry divine health and come close to him I've not prayed for him and make it communicable 
I can carry divine wisdom. Are we together? And you come and greet me. We talk for five minutes. You live with a level of intelligence you cannot account for. I'm not just talking of praying for people. I'm talking of them being implicated by the atmosphere you have created. Your alignment has created an atmosphere that does not leave people the same. So someone does not even know he's sick. It is your atmosphere that shows him he's sick. When he comes, he leaves and says, my goodness. So this thing I've been carrying is pain. I thought everybody has it. Hi. Are we together? Yes, ago, one gentleman was helping me wash my clothes. He was so happy. He just soaked the clothes. As soon as he soaked the clothes, we lift it up. That's how the power of God just carried him. That was the end of that washing for a very long time. The Bible says handkerchiefs. Right? You believe that? Acts 19. Handkerchiefs and aprons were taken from the body of Peter. Handkerchiefs and aprons. It's not this thing we do in church where we just call people out and wave handkerchiefs. Mm -mm, solve problems. Solve real life problems. If you can wave it like that, then speak over the person's financial crisis. Bring it to an end. That's authority. That's a sign that there is a government that backs you. So someone comes and tells you, 11 years we've been barren. You say, it doesn't matter. They say, why? Because triplets are coming. Are you getting the point? Oh, you can be that confident. That's how to become a blessing to people. And so they say, please, how can we locate mama? Because they know that their own is just to find where you are. When they find you, even if you are passing. When prophet Samuel met Saul, he said, come inside and I will show you everything in your heart. That's a dispenser of a reality. When people are sick and they see you, do they get excited? Or do they just thank you for visiting and grieving with them? Are we together? Listen, we must rise from the realm of counseling to miracles, to results. Don't just counsel people. It's all right. We live in a generation where who doesn't know times are hard to a point where when people see you they said you prayed for me eh, jimmy i don't know what you said but from monday till sunday i was receiving testimonies of financial breakthrough as it was happening to me it was happening to my mother please have come again men are implicated because of the atmosphere you carry please hear me i'm not motivating you these are realities that God wants you to walk in. This is how you become the light of the world. It's not just by talking and saying I'm a Christian. You know why our, our worth in Christ is very small as far as people interpret it? Because we pray so much, but our result is very little. Hallelujah. That's why we share testimonies. These testimonies are a revelation of what the glory of God has done in the lives of people. There are certain possibilities that He's granted us access to and they have produced results in the lives of people. So you see incurable diseases going by another possibility. Say after me, all things are possible. Say it, all things are possible. But not for everyone. Yes, you must agree with this. All things are not possible for everyone. Your possibility is a measure of the glory of God that can find expression in you. Are we together? That is why encounter is so important. Because encounter is the spiritual activity that truly builds faith in you. Listen, faith comes by hearing. Do you hear what you read? Answer me please. Do you hear what you read? When I read the Bible, do I hear anything? That means beyond this reading. There is a reality that should find expression in my spirit. Mama, come and collect phone. Did you hear me? So it's not that you were rebellious. If I'm talking and you didn't hear me, will you just stand up and come? So many people say, I don't know if I had God or not. You didn't hear. Are we together? Because his voice is louder than the voice of every devil. And you can come and collect it. Mama, and give me this phone. You had it. This happens in the place of encounter. 
you don't roam around this noisy valley of this world and expect to hear God with clarity your landlord is making noise your village is making noise wickedness making noise carnality is making noise you won't hear him that way brothers and sisters are we together I really am challenging us another thing that I think is responsible for people not paying attention to God is we have this idea that paying attention to God is a waste of time in terms of achieving our destiny I don't know who deceived us with that understanding that please come two of us start out on a spiritual journey look at me everyone two of us start out on a spiritual journey are we together and then this guy keeps moving just move slowly right and then i feel i am behind because that guy wants to start a church he wants to marry he wants to move forward he wants to do this and you are here with god we call this delay we call this waste of time and sometimes we say Kai, god honestly this you're always talking to me i don't want you to waste my time let me tell you the thing with god when he's done with you you will not walk that's the thing no the bible says immediately jesus entered the boat they were at the other side no process immediately as soon as he entered the boat they appeared there that's the god of all flesh so there are people who started their journey they didn't wait to find out from god what are the rules of the engagement they just got up i must make it my share in this life what is my own is my own and all these foolish things we keep talking and they have marked time somewhere in life with six children now whereas somebody who they were looking at as wasting time now he's walking on the wings of the spirit moving as if satan does not exist because he stayed to master the art of war before he started moving it pays to stay with god the fastest way to make impact is to stay with god not to look for endorsement not to print invitation cards and say jimmy invite me i'm a very intelligent entrepreneur invite me Koinonia, give me the mic. Let me lead praise and worship once. And even you, you will know that Kai, God has children. No. We will never give you mic in Jesus' name. Because it means you are deficient in training. Listen, never be ashamed if others go and leave you. You are actually running. You don't know. Elijah told Ahab, saddle your ass and go. I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. And then instead of him to run too, he waited. And the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon him. He guarded his loins and he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Jezreel. Do you want to stay with God and let him file you and you get up and move in power? Or do you want to join this rat race people are doing in life? They take two steps and mark time there. So there is a pile of people who started their journey but cannot move because they do not understand the art of the war. I make up my mind to wait. I make up my mind to wait. Are we together? So that by the time I start moving, I will move at a speed and at a pace that will grant me capacity to do much for the kingdom. Moses! was about to move but he said lord do not send me i know that the people need to get to the promised land but i'm also aware that there are all kinds of obstacles lord don't send me i have questions to ask you i like moses moses asked god questions the same thing gideon did gideon said you are sending me to go and defeat the midianites oh lord you are king but i'm a man let me ask you intelligent questions prove to me oh Look, stay in the secret place and ask God every question. What happens when my finances dry up as a man of God? God, give me the secret now. Not when it happens there. What happens when somebody is about to crash under the hands of the enemy and I cannot see it? And he shows you the mystery. When you take them like keys, you can tell the gate of destiny be opened. And the moment you start moving, you move like a general in the kingdom. When others stand, there is a strategy that you can find expression. We will wait.
upon the Lord. For in His presence there's fullness of joy and our strength shall be restored as we wait upon the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen. I'll share with you just one key tonight. The key I want to share with you I'll share with you many other keys. When you want to grow spiritually and become a reflector, the first key is death. John 12. John 12. Let's read 23 and 24. John 12. God is raising mighty and powerful people in this place. John 12. Now watch this. There is a relationship between death and glory. Please look at me. Never forget what I told you. There is a relationship in the realm of the spirit, in the realm of power, in the realm of impact, in the realm where men do business with God. There is a relationship between death and glory. Years ago, a lady met me and shared with me a dream. And that dream was going to launch her into a season of dealings with God. And I knew it was not going to be an easy time for her. But I spoke with her, I told her, grace for you. And the next two years or so of that lady's life would be times of intense pruning and testing and maturing. But after that time, God brought a vessel that was worthy of honor. The Bible says, Jesus, not an angel, answered them saying, the hour is come that the son of man should be what? So we're talking about glorification. The time has come for you people to know how powerful my father is. The time has come for all of you to see the multifaceted dimensions of the might of Yahweh. You've heard about him. Your father's told you. You are about to see it now. Next verse. But for this to happen, he said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, this is the mystery that will make me glorified. Except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and faints and goes through coma and dies. He said, it abides alone, unprofitable. He says, but if it dies, it bringeth forth what? How do you produce much fruit in the kingdom? By your death. Hmm. Let me tell you, only dead men carry the glory. Only dead men carry the glory. What that means is you must come to a point where you die to your ambitions. You die to your aspirations. You die to your formulas. You die to the conditions you give God. Lord, I give you two weeks. If you don't bless me, you are not king of kings. Uh -uh. Two weeks will pass, you will not be blessed. You will say, okay, God, I give you one month. I've extended it for you. As if you are, you are giving God grace. And at the end of it, you say, Lord, you know what? Even if it's in 10 years, you don't bless me. I love you. You have died. You have died to those conditions you give God. Lord, I'm sweeping your church. You better be looking at me. Wipe my tears as I'm wiping the tears in your own house too. That is true. But if that is the reason why you are sweeping the church, you are wasting your time. Are we together? Death means losing. Nothing around your life controls your passion for God. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Not money. Not lack of it. Not fame, not lack of it. Not ministry, not lack of it. You come to a point in your life where he is all in all. That's death. It doesn't mean physical death. But let me tell you, it can be painful. Because the process in the spirit with which a man relinquishes his will is very hard. No man gives it to God just like that. You can only give God permission to take it. For you are God alone From before time began 
You are on your throne. You are God alone. And right now, through the good times and bad, you are on your throne. You are God alone. Let me tell you something. There are many ways to know a spiritual man. Prayer and tongues and rema are the foundational ways to know a man of God or a man of the spirit. The chiefest way to know a man of the spirit is through his cars. The testament of his sacrifice. The testament of his handing over the management of his life to God. How he trusted God for certain things and they did not happen. And he still said, Lord, you are glorified. That's spirituality. Not preaching. Are we together? You frustrate Satan. You've heard me say this. There is no way I know in terms of its, its highest level of impact to frustrate Satan than to give God glory in the midst of your pain. Lord, you seem so far away A million miles on what it seems today And though I haven't lost my faith I must confess right now That it's hard for me to pray That's somebody's condition in this place listening to me But I don't know what to say I don't know where to start but as you give the grace With all that's in my heart I will sing And I will praise Even in my darkest time Through the sorrow and the pain I will sing Sing it from your heart I will pray Regardless of what is around me I lift my hands to honor you. Because One more time. Help me. I will sing. I will sing. That's how spiritual men are made. I will pray. They defy circumstances. Their love for God is not tied to anything. Through the sorrow and the pain. I will sing. And I will pray. I, will I may pray. cry, but I will still pray. I lift my hands to honor you Because your word is true I will see Hear me You don't become a spiritual man When mic is given to you You become a spiritual man When you can look at someone You trusted God for their healing and they died And you say Lord I'm standing in front of this grave And you are still God You challenge Satan Are we together? You expected five points. You went to the board and you saw four carryovers. And you know you must try an extra session. And you say, Lord, I won't pretend. I know I prayed. But Lord, I want you to know that you have won my heart. I'm too addicted. This is too small a reason to come in between me and you. And you're, you are promoted in the spirit. Because that is your death. God is saying, who is this that is calling on me? He said, gather unto me my saints. Psalm 50 verse 5. They that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Let me show you how God brought us to where we are. It was never a thing of hoping for results. There was no other plan B. I never had plan B with God. If it doesn't go well with him, let me just die there. I like Esther. She said, if I perish... Let me tell you, many of us have plan B. There's one leg in God, but you are hooking the other leg in case God disappoints you. If you do not bless me, let the world laugh at me. If koinonia does not grow, let us remain a subject of mockery. But it will never, never, ever. See, change this your anger and annoyance over God Lord I trust you I've been serving in your house if I uh, 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 uh. spiritual men never get angry with God there are men who have died when you come to a dead man watch this when you are removing the trouser of a dead man will he get up and say stop huh? when you are removing the money in his pocket no that's how to die 
if God says, son, I need your phone, you hand it over and say, where is it? All things, a man can have nothing except it is given to him. All this, our greedy lifestyle is a sign that we are alive in ourselves. That's why we never see the attention of God. Listen, whether God keeps his anointing in heaven or in you, he's comfortable because it's still the same thing to him. You are that yielded. It's like two stores of a man. You know how people do business. They can tell you, I have a branch in Kaduna, I have a branch in Lagos. Any one of them will give you the same result. Can God say, I have this grace in heaven, but I still have one on the earth. Go and meet that person. You will get the same result. As though you were praying to me, because he's that aligned. Death. One of the most painful but most powerful keys of carrying the glory. You can jack yourself and claim, I have the glory, you will waste your time until a corn of wheat falls down and dies. Brothers and sisters, hear me. I tell you the truth and I lie not. There is nothing God makes a demand of in my life that I cannot give him. Ask him. You don't want to know the things God has demanded in my life anything you cannot give God is the reason why you will not host his glory at that level if God tells me give me koinonia I will pack it up like a cloth put it in a nylon bag and hand it over to God immediately not after a meeting immediately if he tells me this is the last time you should be preaching all the ministrations will be cancelled with an apology you know why many of us die we are the ones responsible for everything in our lives. So we die. He says, come unto me, all ye that are what? Weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Everybody say death. Say it. There are many people's training in the body of Christ. We don't teach people the mystery of death. And then they expect glory. The Bible talks of the sufferings of Christ. And the glory that should follow. Are we together? Yes. Romans chapter 8, please. From verse 18 and 19. For I reckon that the what? The constraints. That's what we call it. Let me be a sacrifice. What's the other part of that song? Just that part. My life to worship you. Just sing that part for me. That's the song in my spirit. That's the scripture here. Let this be a sacrifice. Let me dedicate my life to worship. Where you become a living sacrifice. It says, listen, hold on. For I reckon, I come to terms. There is no other way. You can choose your way. The prison is full of people who chose their own methods to life. Are we together? They chose to jump fence. They chose to point guns at people. That was their way. The Bible said there is a way that seemeth right. There is a way. It may be popular, but it's wrong. Let me tell you, the way of the throne is the cross. You will never get to the throne until you go through the cross. I know this is not an attractive message. Don't allow people to fool you. The cross is the way to the throne. There is something that happens to you at the cross that qualifies you for the throne. The way to the throne is when you face Goliath. He does something to you. Whenever you pray for a throne, Goliath is coming. Until you qualify, you will not sit on that throne. I speak to you a mystery. That makes men careers of power when you speak it's as if heaven owes you a debt they must pay not everyone listen the centurion said for i am a man under authority he said i say unto one go i say unto one come death not rema not greek word not logos not kairos not chronos uh -uh. None of those things will replace true fire. The secret place. Where there is a testimony of death. Galatians 2.20 please. 
He said, for I am crucified with Christ. That's the realm. You have died to your ambitions. You have died to your aspirations. Whether you call me Pastor Josh, Prophet Josh, Apostle Josh, whatever. No longer do you have that appetite to do anything that is outside of God. Your life revolves around His will. His wish is literally your command. He says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Then he says, yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. And then he says, and this life that I live in the flesh, that is the body, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Not faith in the Son of God. The very faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Have you gotten to that point where you are dead to yourself? Look. You will not lay hands on the sick and say, be healed. I'm a Christian. Jesus died for me. Be healed. We keep mocking ourselves before demons. Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. I see the scars in them. I see them pass through the cross. But he said, who are you? You just jump from nowhere and think because your father is a priest, a priest that looks like a herbalist, do you inherit that? No. Listen, not everything in the kingdom is a gift. There are things that are rewards. Everything is given, but not as gifts. There are some things that are given as rewards. Unto us a son is born, but unto us, unto us a child is born, but unto us a son is given. And the government will rest upon the shoulder of the son. A symbol of authority. Are we together? He says, an heir as long as he's a child, differeth not from a slave, though he be lord of all, but is under tutors and governors. God is challenging us tonight. Right? Anointed to reveal his glory. In the course of the series, I'm going to be teaching you something powerful about the anointing. I tell you, your life will catch fire. It's time for us to step into greater levels. There is so much God wants to do with us. Give him space. Koinonia, give him space. God wants to find expression. Let me tell you something. When you get to a point where you can speak over a man's life and change his destiny, you are really powerful. You are really powerful. Where you can use words to veto the limitations in men's lives. Who is this? That the winds and the waves obey him. He didn't carry cane. Michael, where are you? This wind is stubborn. He stood and said, Shalom. Shalom. The centurion said, Uh uh. I look at you and you are not representing yourself. You are under authority. You are a reflector of the glory of the Father. Huh? I am also a man under authority. I know how powerful my government is. On the strength of that power, I can tell one, go, and he will go. When you tell things, go, and they don't go, they are sending a message to you that you must admit. If you tell sickness, go, and it does not go, it is speaking back to you. Where is your authorization? Like passport, you are traveling out. You smuggled your way, and this custom stopped you somewhere. Are we together? You put your clothes in a bag with, with clothes and as you are smuggling yourself out, they trap you. What is the question they are going to ask you? They are not going to ask you your name. What is your passport? Your symbol of authorization. What gives you access to move from one dimension to the other? And if they cross check and find out that you are an illegal person, what happens? They deport you. You are not even there yet, but they send you back. Even if you cross over to another country, one day when they catch you there, what did they do? They, that's, there are many people being deported in this season because they never went there correctly. They used some manipulations and they jumped and experienced power for two weeks. That's why you think they are using charm. It's not charm. They didn't follow the right path. So they must be sent back. The thing that makes me fear God is that even if you are 20 years, the day you decide to walk with him, you will go back and start correctly. God doesn't do double promotion. You pass through every class one by one and write every exam. In God's class, 90 over 100 is not A. Everything he teaches is necessary for your future. It's not like the way we are, you can get A and go. 
in God's class, you, you will clap for you for the ones you have passed, but you will rewrite the exams till you pass there. That's why 40 days became 40 years until they passed every course he was teaching them. Are we together? We are going to pray tonight. I'll stop here and we are going to pray. God has been speaking to me about the things that he wants to do. This is our year of multiplied um, grace and influence. Hallelujah. God wants to reveal greater glory. You already seen it happening in the testimonies and the rest. But you see, any true man of God does not want to rise alone. Are we together? We must all rise together. Where our words become like the words of God. The Bible says the words of Samuel was like the word of God. When he spoke, none of his word fell to the ground. What a man. What a man. There are some of our family members right now. We are the only reflectors of the glory of Christ as far as they are concerned. Are we together? We left many of our loved ones and some of them are practically on their way to perishing in every wise. Sickness, finances, spiritually. But God tonight wants to anoint you and through this series he's going to be guiding you. Are we together? So that he will anoint you. I trust God that by miracle service this month, some people would have entered some strange dimensions. Strange spiritual dimensions. You can know something has entered your hand. All this acting, we keep acting. Do you know I'm anointed? No, you are not. It should be very clear. The anointing is like light. There is light here. If you ever have to ask one person, do you know I'm anointed? I'm telling you, it's not there. Oh, it should be very clear. As clear as light is from darkness. Tonight, we are going to pray. But before we pray, I want you to admit that you have limited the reflection of the glory in your life in many ways there are so many possibilities we should have entered as men of God as individuals are we together so it's very important close your eyes in one minute before we pray I see the presence of God strong already here I want you to just reflect in one minute on what I've said. Is my life giving God room to manifest His glory? How have I brought shame and disappointment to the name of God? Because I have bragged being a Christian. I've stood near sick people and nothing has happened. I prayed in my family. They have been mocking God. They've been mocking Koinonia. I dared them, but I prayed that nothing happened. pray Lord things must change my Christian life has been barren for too long I need an encounter a true encounter I'm tired of faking it I need something solid the day you find a place of breakthrough brothers and sisters in 24 hours your captivity of decades can come to an end the price is not to get breakthrough the price is to go to the atmosphere where breakthrough is a possibility that's your price is God speaking to us they went to Samuel the major issue was the issue of restoration. But when they went to Samuel, listen, all that Samuel told them was, is it not the donkey? It's been found, please. There are more important issues. Can you imagine? To them, that was the big deal. Let's look for our father's donkey. But Samuel said, leave the issue of donkey. I speak, oh yeah, it's been found. Look at Naaman. When Naaman went to go and meet Elisha, what did he say? Go and bath. It didn't even come out. Just go and take your bath seven times. Ah, he went to take his bath and that was the end of it. 
brothers and sisters tonight many of you are face to face with realities that can wipe your tears of decades but it is for you to recognize your own part has been done by coming to the atmosphere now step back and allow God to step in you see that your own part there are few prophets that I've met in my life true prophets one day I met a man of God a true prophet of God and I was explaining a few things to him areas of confusion here in my life do you know that before I would talk to this man he looked at me and smiled he said did God not show you what you are going through now ah. and I just looked at the man he said you are pretending as if God did not show you but did he not show you the other side too see that yeah go and take the yellow book among your books read it now page 70 that's where God gave you the prophetic word that's he said please this issue is not the issue we're discussing let's discuss the next level of ministry how is koinonia do you this is a prophet speaking to me ah. how about the dream you had of the next level this is what we're discussing I went for something else I'm hearing something else. That's the character of a true man of God. Some of you now have carried the problem. My rent, oh God. And God is saying, not rent. I'm going to give you an anointing to start up a business. You came, for, how much is rent? 250. I know it's a mountain to you. But don't joke with God. Once you are in that atmosphere, expect him to do more. Expect him to do more. Hallelujah. There is one requirement from you tonight. That requirement is to accept that you need help. That's the last thing I would require from you. If you can accept before God and say, Lord, I've tried everything I know to do. I know that this thing is not as hard as it is, but I submit myself to your wisdom. You have changed the lives of people within 24 hours. You have brought restoration and healing and hope for people. Brothers and sisters, that sickness can leave that it has stayed 20 years does not mean that's how to stay you can choose to hear this word from god and argue it and just say well nice preaching your problem only affects you i hope you know but you can tremble at his word and say this is the key one prayer that god will never reject is the cry of mercy from a man who needs his help when a man comes to the end of his life I have come to the end of myself I have come to the end of myself I have come to the end of myself when you come to that point and you say Lord you spoke to me that I'm going to be a kingdom financier I'm short of ideas I've come to the end of my life Lord I need direction I don't know whether it's job now or marriage I don't know whether it's Zaria now or, or, or I'm going to London or I'm going to Calabar or I'm staying in, 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 in Kogi State I need direction you will never never receive direction and help from God by default Jesus Christ saw blind Bartimaeus. He passed him as if he didn't see him. Blind Bartimaeus said, Thou son of David. I'm sure people said, keep, keep, keep quiet. The guy cried the more. He said, wicked people, you have eyes. I'm, I'm, I'm blind. Tonight, you may be going through all kinds of things. Brothers and sisters, the power of God is available. You have taken the first right step to come to the atmosphere. The second step, is surrender you must receive his help because you can reject it you can reject the help of god before we begin to pray papa adeboye shared a story and talked about a man who was on a wheelchair and that man was on a wheelchair and people kept giving the man money he became rich because every time people would give him money. And then one time during a program, Papa Deboe looked at him and he was moved with compassion by the Holy Spirit. And he was going to pray for him. 
and he, he was led to ask him do you want to be well the man said no he looked at him ha ah, be well why should i stand up when my life has changed on this chair and truly the man told him all i want is money i don't want to be well i think eventually the guy got healed and he was angry that's according to papa deboe he said the guy was angry because he said now i'll have to work for myself no excuse again take over take over i have come to the end of myself take over take over i have touched the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself take over take over i have come to the end of myself take over take over i have touched the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself hallelujah lift your voice and begin to pray say lord i need help mention the areas you need his help if you don't need any help pray for koinonia pray for the ministry Lord, I need help. Pray. I need help in my marriage. Pray. I need help in my finances. I need help in my academics. I need help on my job. Are you praying? Thou son of David, I cry for your mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second prayer point. Lord, I know it is within your power to help me. I ask for your help. Let your power address my case tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I know. Oh, it is within your power to give me a husband. It is within your power to give me a wife. It is within your power to cause my business to flourish. It is within your power to bring restoration. It is within your power to give me a child. It is within your power to cure HIV. It is within your power to deliver me. Oh, pray. It will put a new song in your mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point. We are going to cry for grace. I just showed you your contribution to your failure. You must take responsibility and say, Lord, I take responsibility and I receive grace to make the adjustments. There's nothing embarrassing about it. 
from all that I've said you know the area that affects you say Lord I take responsibility the part you cannot do for yourself you will do but the part that is your responsibility you must take responsibility lift your voice and pray Lord, we take responsibility in the name of Jesus. We receive fresh determination, fresh persistence, fresh determination, fresh persistence in the name of Jesus. Lord, we receive the grace to pursue wisdom, to seek wisdom like a jewel. We receive grace to pursue understanding. We receive grace to live by the truths that we know. We receive grace to be convicted. hallelujah hallelujah shortly we are going to begin ministering we'll be very fast today i want to see how we can close on time so we're going straight to the point hallelujah we'll try to do everything very very fast and see how we can beat time as much as possible hallelujah you're going to prophesy what you want to happen to you by yourself are you ready now please i want you to speak it these are instructions from god i know you have been praying in your secret place it's not the same thing you are doing now open your mouth and prophesy everything god will do for you lift your voice and pray i walk out of here healed tonight come on now ss you must leave me tonight as you must leave me tonight confusion must end in my life tonight that idea that i need for my business that idea that i need for promotion that restoration i refuse to walk out of this place without that restoration that mantle that renewed spiritual life that clarity that prophetic word oh yes 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 pray pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray that every spirit from darkness that has held your life, pray that you must be delivered this night. Every spirit tying your family, every spirit tying your progress, pray. Enough is enough. He must live my life Lord I must be delivered today hallelujah 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 in recent time I have seen tremendous increase of the anointing of the spirit upon my life especially in the area of healing and deliverance i have seen this all my life but i have seen a multiplication of this grace brothers and sisters whatever your challenge is believe me there is an enough anointing to wipe your tears if only you will believe 
don't be part of those who have come to waste their time there are people standing outside just staring at others forget about them and be focused you know what you are going through miracle service is not it's not a marriage ceremony it's not an album dedication you don't come and just watch and smile you come with anger in your heart and say lord i, I won't go back that way who told you ss cannot be healed who told you as cannot change who told you the the biological problem cannot go who told you you cannot get breakthrough lord jesus we thank you we release this atmosphere to you and your power lord i know that you will do amazing things even in this place we trust you for a quick walk there are lives there are destinies that need to be changed lord there are people under all kinds of the influence of strange spirits that have tied their lives let not one of them escape the power of the holy spirit there are sick bodies that need to be healed oh god let not one of them escape the healing power of god there are families that have come with burdens lord i pray your people have come with prayer requests impossible situations but they believe in you so lord we give you praise hallelujah hallelujah now while the ministration continues please if you have not written your prayer requests make sure that you write them it's important it's not a religious formality it's a revelation that god gave us hallelujah during the dinner those of us who are workers will have the opportunity probably to experience the testimonies that have come as a result of answered prayers. Hallelujah. So in one minute, just write your prayer request very quickly so that when we start, please, if you are yet to write, let's just give them an opportunity. Please help one another with um, papers. You can feel free to put on your phone, contact your loved ones and tell them to send in their prayer requests if it's possible. There are many who have sent their own hundreds online.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please make sure you write everything. Write everything you are trusting God to do in your life. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a very simple song. Lift your voice and sing it to your maker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I look at this lady and I see a spirit, a very serious spirit. Hold my hands. The Lord will deliver you huh? from that spirit. Because this is something that wants to destroy your life. Is your sister here? Where's her sister? Is her sister here? Is she here? pray for both of you because I'm seeing an attack coming to your family. There is a spirit that I saw and this is something that has to do with somebody dying. Hallelujah. Who is here? Where is she? Please, let's save time um, very quickly so that we can. We have to pray. I'm seeing death in your family. This is somebody's obituary God wants to avert. You can help her hold her baby if she won't cry. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. But you specifically, there is a spirit that torments you. I need to pray for you. Leading you into things that you do not want to do. I'm hearing a name, Femi. Not, not Pastor Femi. Femi. I'm hearing a name, Femi. Femi, who is Femi? Please, if, if I call your case, please just save our time and come quickly. Femi. Your name is Femi? Who is a visitor? You are the one. From where? Come. From where? Jigawa. Eh? Jigawa. From Jigawa State. Yes. Sir. Came from Jigawa State. Yes, sir. The Lord is going to set you on fire and yes, take sir. you back there. You didn't just come yes, sir. just for a meeting. I know you just yes, thought sir. you came to receive. I'll call you several times. Sir. Eh? I'll call your number several times. You not be <laughs> You will receive that which you desire. Praise the Lord. Yes. My brother, I'm going to pray for you. Victoria. Victoria. I hear a name Victoria. Please, who is Victoria? Let me just respond to you. Victoria. Victoria. There is a Victoria trusting God for a change of genotype. Genotype. 
you're trusting God for a change of genotype. I don't know if it has to do with um, SSAS, anyone like that. This is a Victoria I see. I want to minister to a Victoria that is trusting God for a change of genotype. We have to frustrate come we have to frustrate the power stopping your marriage look at me we have to frustrate the power that is stopping your marriage huh because it's God's desire for you to settle down soonest you understand this is this is the devil is not going to lord it over you we are going to pray please I want you to believe I don't have to call your case I'm just flowing because the Holy Spirit is impressing it strongly upon me and then we'll just get into prayer Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, visit this family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is your mother? Who is sick? Who is sick in your family? My mom. Because I'm seeing that ah, we have to pray. I have we have to pray. Hmm? This is December. Your mother will just sleep and they will tell you, I'm not a prophet of doom. They will tell you that she's dead. She has been talking about death. We have to rebuke this thing. She has been seeing dead people in her dream. She sleeps and she sees dead people. And they will be stretching their hands towards her and asking her to hold them. Some of them are people who have died before. See, there are families here with those things. But we are going to deal with it. Praise the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for this family. That spirit of death over the family. In the name of Jesus, we roll it away. We roll it away by the power of the Holy Spirit. And for you, I curse this spirit that is in you. In the name of Jesus, when the time for deliverance comes, the Lord is going to set you free completely in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you. Your hands are blessed. Listen, your hands are blessed. God expects you to use your hands to bring wealth to yourself. Your hands are blessed. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, that these hands are blessed hands are you getting what i'm saying you have to pray and trust god for ideas the things that you can do with your hands and he will bless you in the name of the lord jesus christ new level come there is still a time for impartation so you receive it but two things god is giving you number one god is giving you wisdom number two god is giving you stability huh i see you but i see like a wind you are here and there god needs to give you stability Father, you will give him stability in the name of Jesus. Come, my dear. I pray for you. You will marry a foolish man. Say amen. I curse every spirit delaying her marriage. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke that spirit. Come. Um, I have to pray for you. Hold my hands. Lord, she must be free today. Today is her day of liberty. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke this spirit. You must leave her. I see you in the spirit. Out of her right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, do you love Jesus? Very well. Huh? Please, he wants you to take him very seriously. Where are you from, my dear? Benway State. Benway State. Is, who is here with you? My brother. Your brother. Where is he? Love. Brother, please, can you come? I want to speak to him just before we start. What's his name? Huh? Joseph Okotu. Joseph, where are you? I hear the Lord saying he's bringing restoration to your family. That's why I want to pray for you. We are going to pray. The Lord is saying I should tell you he will give you beauty for ashes. Huh? You may not understand the meaning of what I'm saying. But as the days unfold you will see God honor you. Father let there be restoration for this family. You are going to be a great man of God. Great man of God. God is going to put a teaching anointing upon you. Supernatural grace for teaching. Supernatural grace for teaching. Father, step into this family and do miracles. In the 
the name of Jesus. Lift your voice in one minute. Let's begin to pray in tongues. Shiva Please rise up on your feet, everybody. Shabra da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba. Thank you, Father, because the oppressed will be delivered by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah! Please lift your hands. I want to begin to minister. Deliverance is very important. Very, very important. Is the platform that separates you from the spirits and the influences you see sometimes some of you do not even know that your lives are under um, certain levels of 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 bondage but then you will need the grace of god you will need the wisdom of god you will need his grace to give you direction and i'm going to pray for you right now my goodness the power of god is strong in this place so many people inside and outside it will surprise some of you because you do not even know now listen this deliverance is not just for individuals in fact god is going to start with families that's what i see god doing hallelujah praise the lord you've heard this happen again and again i don't know why god does this but a lady is going to shout under the anointing and this is what will introduce that grace a loud shout by the spirit of the living God lift your hands father thank you for your power and your presence in this place right now in the name of Jesus at the count of three I want everyone to shout Jesus from the depth of your heart I challenge every spirit I challenge every voice and every altar oh God that has kept your people bound that has kept families bound there's no place for escape for you tonight Lord I pray that in a mighty way as your people begin to shout you visit them my goodness the power of god is already coming on people at the count of three one two get ready now get ready three fire upon you right now deliverance fire in the name of jesus receive it receive it help them please help those people right now in the name of jesus inside and outside I release the power of the Holy Spirit the power of the Holy Spirit right now right now right now right now right now I see the power of God along this region right here where the ministers are staying I see the power of God right now I cast that spirit I challenge every power every fraternity from hell that keeps people bound in the name of Jesus hallelujah lift your hands those outside alone those inside you can relax those outside at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus there are people who are tied to covenants I hear covenants in the spirit people tied to covenants as you shout that name it's like a wind that will blow outside and the power of God will begin to set people free. Are you ready now at the count of three? One, two, three. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We release deliverance outside. We release mighty deliverance. Now lift your hands. You don't have to shout. Just keep it lifted. Hallelujah. I'm going to begin to speak and prophesy. And for all those who are affected, the power of God will begin to touch them. Bring them out here. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. Now I pray. Every family here, under any spell, every family, Lord, where are they? Right now, let the power of God touch them. Touch them now. Now, now. Right now, in the congregation, every family, under any kind of spell, I bring deliverance right now. I bring deliverance right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I bring deliverance. Help that lady. I bring deliverance. Right now. Right now. Keep your hands lifted. Right now. 
Father, identify families that have suffered every cause right now in the name of Jesus all over the congregation inside and outside hallelujah keep your hands lifted no instruments just keep your hands lifted I'm going to pray I see fire rolling in the realm of the spirit now that fire listen that fire is going to come upon individuals i'm hearing stagnation that's what i'm hearing please keep your hands lifted inside and outside lord wherever those people are get set right now as i speak the fire will burst and begin to touch people stagnation wherever they are shake it, it, it up. begin to touch them right now by that fire receive it right now right now right now right now right now all over the building in the name of jesus christ that spirit of stagnation that has been responsible i see some people being touched outside i see people being touched outside hallelujah this row lift your hands just this row lift your hands the lord is asking me to stretch my hands towards you the moment i stretch my hands the power of god will move in dramatic ways and i'm hearing in my spirit breakthrough that's what is coming please make sure you believe at the count of three i want you to shout jesus it will be a mighty move of the spirit lord i do as you have instructed and at the count of three let there be breakthroughs one, two, three. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Help them, please. He poko to 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 to. Reke te te ka. Reko to pa. Reka balapas. Embra katata. Rakatosh kopa. Repe te ke te. We command it in the name of Jesus. Bring them out. lift your voice and begin to pray every force that has tied down my life you must leave me right now pray as some of you are praying the power of god will be touching you every spirit that is responsible Make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Only the ladies. I want to pray for you. Only the ladies. A woman represents a gate in the spirit. And there are many ladies whose gates are tied and closed. But the Bible says to open up the two leaf gates. It will surprise you what will happen to many of you right now. Please keep your hands lifted. Father, I pray in a mighty way. Let every lady's destiny that has been closed at the count of three as they shout Jesus, let those gates be open. Get set now, ladies. One, two, three. Open now. Open now. Open now. Shake it, shake it up my goodness i see padlocks opening that's what i'm seeing in the spirit open up those gates in the name of jesus open up those gates open up those gates now open up those gates now open up those gates now in the name of jesus hallelujah listen lift your voice and violently pray in one minute and command that spirit to leave you go ahead and pray please by the power of the holy spirit 
you must leave my family just keep praying it's a new season by the anointing of the holy ghost every unclean spirit attaching itself to our lives hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord who came with this woman i'm seeing a spirit tying this woman watch this who came with mama out of her hold my hands mama listen she can't walk hold on mommy this woman cannot walk well you see this who don't worry stroke look at this how many of you believe god can do a miracle for this woman i command the spirit right now that spirit leave this woman right now in the name of jesus she doesn't hear very well too in the name of jesus i command the ears to be open mommy look at me lift your leg just carry it lift your leg carry it come come walk come 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 look at this walk by yourself come come look at this look at this look at this give jesus praise give jesus praise hallelujah listen she doesn't hear very well mama Come on, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Come, Mama. Look at this. You know that this is a spirit that has tied this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, we end captivity. Stretch your hands and pray that the Lord will perfect everything that concerns her. This is somebody's mother. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. hallelujah mama this mama come your time of breakthrough has come hold on look at what's wrong with you my leg cannot open your leg cannot this open leg, uh, this leg uh, how long 20 something years 20 how many years uh, who knows her years. you know you are their son come now you come and stand close to your mother how many years more than 20 years where are you from we are from sabongari mama you believe jesus will touch yes, you yes sir i tell you there is nothing jesus cannot do yes, there is sir. the anointing you believe it yes sir say jesus jesus heal me heal me say jesus jesus heal me heal me father you died for this reason right now in the name of jesus christ let there be healing right now look at what is happening to her in the name of jesus mama hold my hands walk come 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 try to climb now lift your leg try to lift it it didn't used to open before oh i see okay okay go ahead in the name of jesus christ lift it and do what you could not do just do it do it open the other one in the name of jesus god is already giving you a miracle by the power of the holy spirit can you see a miracle happening she could not open the leg completely could not open it in the name of jesus christ look at look at this god is giving this woman a eh? before she said she, she could not stand for five minutes I cannot stand for five minutes. but right now god is touching you your back will be paining you in the name of Jesus Christ, this perfection you have started. That backache, I lay my hands and I release the anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just keep under the anointing. She will stand up and check herself. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another mother. I don't know why God is visiting our mothers right now. I'm seeing, Mama, please come. Can I talk to you, Ma? Somebody help that woman. Please, 
don't if we talk to you speak whatever language you can speak there will always be somebody to interpret it it doesn't have to be that you must speak english whose, whose mother is this eh? well done mommy what's what's the issue what brought her here she has been complaining of different illness mama what's wrong with you i got bp i got bp this something day my blood they move like this as I'm looking at our mother, Mama, as I look at you, I'm seeing something like a snake all around your stomach. That thing starts moving. Is that? And then it comes towards your chest area. Then sometimes you feel pain at your back here. That devil will leave you right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. You believe in Jesus? I'm going to pray that God will use this lady. Because I looked at her and I just saw a dove rise from her. You, what's your name? Faith. Faith. Yes, sir. You will be a woman of faith. You believe that? Let me pray for you. Father, anoint this lady. Let your power come upon her in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God will use you mightily. Mama, let's pray for you. Lay your hands on your chest, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, God is healing you right now. High blood pressure high blood pressure and every other sickness I rebuke it right now and I command the spirit that oppresses you to live in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now listen if you know you are involved in anything whether maybe you have a shop you are in business and nothing is working just lift your hands I want to pray for those people right now that's what the Holy Spirit is telling me. Please believe. Why is she out? Come, you're a mother. We can't keep you standing there. Let me just attend to her. Please, you don't have to come out. We'll attend to you. Whose mother is this? My son is outside. Your son? Okay, what's, what can Paul, we do for you? Paul. I'm weak from here downwards. You are weak from? Um, my waist downwards. downwards. But you can walk, it's just that the pain is there. The pain, I used to feel pain. I can't sit for long unless I lie down. I can't stand for long. Okay, Mama, just clear the way. Let Mama, you are her son, you are welcome. Let her just sit down there. We will soon pray for the sick. When it's time, you just bring her there so that you can hurry up. Praise the Lord. Uh, please, you don't have to come out. We are going to Listen, listen. We are going to pray. We will invite people to come out now. We are, I'm going to pray for the sick. I will lay hands on all of you. Praise the Lord. So that we can just hurry up. If we do it one by one like this, we may not have all the time. Um, but why, why is she coming? Uh, my problem is one year. I'm eating with the dream. You are eating the dream? Yes. Food, you mean? One year now. For one year non-stop? Today's 15 days, my stomach, my back, in the pain. I know be sleep. I know be eat. Last, uh, last week, uh, Friday, I enter hospital. They give me medicine. I don't take all the medicine. Never stop. Well, we we'll pray. Jesus Christ will set you free. In the name of Jesus. Mama, you too, just go and sit down there. Please, no our mothers don't worry when we start praying for the sick this is what we'll do we may give room so that we we'll start with some of our elderly ones so that they can go back they may not have that strength will that be fine so as you line up if you see any elderly man or woman you can just push them forward so that we minister to them and then they can go and sit down hallelujah praise the lord but lift your hands now i want to release breakthrough i mean i, I mentioned the case right now I will praise him, I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him, I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him, I will sing to him a new song. And I will praise him, I will sing to him a new song. 
Keep your hands lifted that has tied down your business or the works of your hands. Some of you will feel fire on your hand, literal fire. It will start burning on your hands right now. In the name that is above all names, I pray as that fire comes on your hand, ideas begin to come to you. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. It's already happening to people right now. It's happening to people. The fire is coming on people. Help this brother, please. The fire is coming on people right now. Your hands, ideas, ideas. This fire represents ideas. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, as we pray for the sick, I know there are many people here who are sick. Please be orderly as you come. While that is happening, every prayer request, please pass it over to the ushers. You have your prayer request. You can use the time to call some of your loved ones. By the way, when we begin to prophesy, for some of you who have your loved ones at home, you can put on the phone and connect with them. Honestly, if they have the faith to receive and they believe, They'll be surprised at what happens to them. You are trusting God for a healing miracle. Make your way to the front now and begin to pray. There is a God that heals here. Yes. Mama, please don't cry. Can you get her a handkerchief, please? Help our mother with this handkerchief. Please make your way to the front. It's called a miracle service. Look how many people are trusting God for healing. Forward all the elderly ones to the front. Please, all our elderly ones. around and I realized that you've been so good to me standing here can we begin to talk to the Lord and say father please who am I that you are mindful of me who am I that you hear my cry when I call you how can I love you more know you more source of my strength now you the strength of my life my hope and my joy my confidence now you you're the source of my life the strength of my life my hope and my joy my confidence show you look at this oh my god put the camera here look at this can you see this person bring the person here look at this this is death already look at this i think you can can they see it on camera look at this you know that this is this is this is already this is an obituary 
her mother. This is her mother crying. Who is her mother? Why did the mother stay outside now and bring the Oh, she went to bring Matt. Yes. They brought the girl on his. What's wrong with her? She has been sick for over six months now, but they have been not they have not able be no diagnosis. You will look at her and think it's HIV. Brothers and sisters, hear me. When a spirit enters a man, it leaves out his character through that person. Okay, let's let's hear from the mother, please. What language can she speak? Kurama. Who is Kurama here? Huh? You are, please. Don't can she speak Hausa? Mama Ki Hausa? Rabuda Suki Hausa? We will never put pressure on anybody. If she can't speak Hausa, she'll speak her language. Um, what is wrong with her? What's the issue with the baby? Uh-huh. Cancer. Cancer. Uh -huh. Eight. Eight. Uh -huh. Cancer. The eight. Look at. Basr. Basr. What's that? Uh -huh. Pile. Cancer. HIV. Uh -huh. Look at this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tell her she brought. She brought her expecting. No, no, no. Don't worry. Tell her she came expecting Jesus to touch her. Jesus, can I? Can I also? So say, can I not? Kasina. Can I not? Kasina, she never can hear also. But is that not your language? Mama, can I get a move? I'm going to pray for her now. Oh, I'm going to pray for her. Just clear the way. Can she hear? Can I? How old is she? You would think this girl is, is 10 years, she's 30 years. 30 solid years. Supposed to be married, right? With her children. She's married with two children. Oh my god. Huh? Mama? Okay. This is cancer, HIV, at a terminal state. The source of my strength, now you. Strength of my life, now you. My hope and my joy, now you. Hey, my confidence, now you. Source of my life, now you. Strength of my life, now you. My hope and my joy, My dear, can you speak English? Can you speak English? No, don't worry. Can you hear me? You can hear me. You believe Jesus can touch you? Do you believe that? Don't cry. Don't cry. Jesus is able to touch you. Father, show this lady mercy. In the name of Jesus, I curse that devil by the blood of Jesus Christ I command that spirit of infirmity that devil of HIV that devil of cancer I command you to leave her in the name of Jesus Christ I will ask you people to help her get up eventually my dear look at me look at me in the name of Jesus Christ I release strength to you strength to you strength to you try to move your hands or your leg go ahead try to move your hand or your leg if you can do you have enough strength for that can she hear me she's so weak she can't even hear me it's well just leave her to lie down with the glory as i pray for all that i mean she's so weak she cannot even hear me God, the devil is wicked listen i assure you that whatever it is What's that? Okay, the request. Don't worry. We'll pray for you. Hallelujah. Just leave her to soak in the glory here while she gets some strength and try to lift her up and see what happens. 
Father, I pray for everyone here. Let the power of God touch them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone came. Please be patient. You don't have to rush. The Lord himself will touch you. You came for a reason. In the name of Jesus Christ. You don't have to tell me what is wrong with you. If I ask you, you can tell me. But it doesn't matter. The spirit of death is on this woman. But mama, look at me. Come please. What's wrong with her? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Yes. What's wrong with you, madam? Now, since uh, where would they for Abuja? Now, in the bubble, where the bomb will blow. So, what? I'm I'm selling something for Nyanya. Yeah. I'm selling food here. Yeah. Where the bomb will blow for that side? Bomb. Uh, oh, uh, bomb blast. Yes, I now fall down. I know I cannot get out. They carry me to go hospital. Oh, the bomb, bomb blast that happened in Nyanya. Yes. So it affected you. Eh. Uh, so I can't get up. They carry me go hospital. So, uh, I spent four months going over. They carry me go flying place. He collected uh, fifty thousand. Go they go. They carried you go where? Uh, flying man. May go treat me. Say hospital no figure. A doctor. Oh, have a list. Eh. Uh, okay. Man. It's okay. The full animal collected 50,000. You know, I've said it again. Please hear me. Listen, let me let me press it down. Any man, I don't care who, who tells you to bring money to get a miracle, even if it's me, run away. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Mama, our mothers, I'm begging you in the name of Jesus Christ. Any man, any priest, any prophet, any pastor, any apostle, any human being, herbalist, whoever, that asks you to give him money so that you give him miracle. Tell him, Joshua Selman said he's a thief. He's not a man of God. Are we together? And now we start the cure the thief. The, if you give me medicine, I drink, I will bring bad, bad dream in the night. So, tell like that, four months, go and no go. The man now tell me to bring 30,000 again. I said, I know if you see food. That you bring 30,000 again? Uh, I know if you see food to my children again now. And now start the bed, the man, no grief. That man, me, I'm a girl for... Mommy, what, what? Now I come sabo, I come sam a room here. Come and say, come and I work up for prayer to prayer. But at the near prayer for you, when they say, make I come me, I know they, I know they come. I will just lie down, they feel pain every time. Do you know that there are spirits that stop men from going to the place of their breakthrough? Have you seen people that you try to bring for koinonia? On your way going, they just change their mind. It's not them. There is a spirit. I tell you that you make your way here alone is a sign that God is ready to visit you. Okay, what 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 I must enter today. I must enter as I just uh, come out for road. The machine just come. You say where the grass and at this church he says, Oh make go, make go in over. Welcome the usher people. Say where they go, they go to my I say I know Piwaka. These people can serve God then. They carry me from machine down. They hold my hand. God carry bless our in. ushers. I sit down. When I sit down, finish. They come there and ask me to make no hurry to enter. So, and now when they start the play, I enter through gate. That I just stand up with my, with my Now this one, they just stand. Because this side, you know. And now suddenly stand up. Uh, stand. God come give me a condition. Strength. My power. What, what power. part of your body is not working very well? Yes. Now? What part? Yeah, I also. Oh, your. Oh, I see. Father, it's, it's okay, madam. Ma Mama, uh, we, we get what is wrong with you now, eh? In Jesus' name, we we'll pray for you. If she couldn't walk, oh, there is a spirit at work in you. That spirit will leave you now. I command that devil, leave her. You think it's bomb blast, but oh, she could not walk, oh. They had to carry her and now she's even standing that's even a miracle in the name of jesus madam look at me hold my hands i minister strength to you look at me come come help her in the name of jesus walk i'll hold you walk Okay, look at me. Look at me. Start walking by yourself. Come. Came on a bike. Could not walk. Come. Slowly. Just take it slowly. Look at this. 
you can see that it's happening gradually gradually these hands were paralyzed madam look at me try to lift it up go ahead go ahead lift it lift it lift it look at this lift it lift it drop it down lift it again lift it again completely paralyzed completely paralyzed look at look at this look at this look at this a miracle is happening do what you couldn't do the devil is a liar the more you take that step of faith the more you see god stepping in father this miracle is perfected in her body in the name of jesus christ god bless you just keep exercising her we'll have to pray please any special case who we'll minister at our time is gone i saw the spirit of death she was supposed to die in that bomb blast i didn't even know it was nyanya bomb blast that Boko Haram bomb blast may you never be a victim of any man's wickedness in the name of jesus christ the moment i pray for you please as you return back check yourself and do what you couldn't do before if it's a striking striking testimony we'll just take it here worship team lead us through sessions of worship as we pray in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus short of blood i look at you sir and your face has changed to the face of a cat this is what licks your blood this is what i'm saying this is demonic you understand what i'm saying there was a time you had a dream and a dog was following you dog dog was pursuing you and i need to pray for you because this is a manifestation of the spirit of death in the name of jesus christ i command that spirit that devil of darkness to leave Please stand in and connect for your loved ones. We have so many people. Let's see how far we can. So you brought him for a miracle. You believe Jesus? Eh? His neck is not standing. What does that mean? He can't lift his neck. Put the baby with the baby on my hand. Careful, careful. Just. I know we are taking time, but stretch your hands at this baby, and let's close this hole in the name of Jesus. You will have a child. Make sure you are praying. 
one month two weeks a hole in his heart if god does not step in this baby will either die or something will happen i tell you we are the church of the lord jesus christ we can agree father we reject this we reject this as you are rejecting it for this child so it will be in your life reject it lord your church is praying we change this report baby we speak to you baby you will not die you will not die you will not die we close this hole hallelujah go and check him don't cry don't cry eh? you are not going to lose your baby in the name of jesus christ amen we are going to pray it's going to be very very fast as i lay my hands on you just it's just a touch there is a reason why i'm doing this myself and i lay hands on you just a touch the lord is wiping your tears the lord is wiping your tears and not just because you are crying physically this woman is coming with so much pains the lord is wiping your tears now in the name of jesus out of her that demon that causes pain in the name of jesus christ
Submit a prayer request. Ushers, you can begin to bring the prayer request forward. Please, everybody, inside and outside, make sure you don't miss this next session because that's where you get to receive your personal breakthrough. So please, forward the prayer request. If you still have yours, just lift it up and an usher will come to you quickly. Please, guys, let's do this very fast so that we can finish. As hands are being laid on you, I just want you to believe that God is touching you.
presence there is power when we worship you together you are here when we gather Stretch your hands. Do, do we have all the prayer? Please stand up, everybody. We are wrapping up. Inside and outside. If you are yet to drop your prayer request, please make sure you send it. We believe this is this is it's not a religious activity. It's an instruction that God gave us. Because you see, no matter how I lay hands on everybody one by one, we may not have all the time for everybody to state what their needs are. But then let me tell you something. The truth about it is that I'm not the most important person in this meeting. There is one who is mightier than I. You didn't write this request to Joshua Selman, I will not even read one of them. This is unto the God who can solve problems. 
Mommy, please come. Yes. I've been looking at this woman and I've been wondering what it is that God, what would you want God to do for you? To give me a quality spouse. To give you a quality spouse. This is what I'm looking at this woman and my heart has been drawn to her for a while. Madam, you want to get married because you are not afraid and ashamed to say this in the presence of the people. Look at me. I stake my reputation on this prophecy that I will give you. You hear me? If a man does not come to marry you, go and publish it in the newspaper that I lied. You believe what I'm saying? I will not implicate myself and be a fool like this. Because as soon as I looked at you, you said spouse. I saw a man putting a ring in your hand. That's why I'm telling you what I'm saying. You believe this? Be sure to return and give the testimony. And everybody be sure to look at her. You are seeing her today. When she comes back with her husband. So you don't say that this is stage manage. Father, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay, just cover her. I'm going to pray. Let me have, okay, it's Prof's water. I wish there's any other one just to pray on it and then they will give her. She's too weak. We can't even test her whether or not. But I see her moving her legs and moving all of this. This is ordinary. Okay, this is ordinary water. We'll just pray on it since that's the only thing. She's a child, isn't she? Bata child, isn't she? Say me. Father, I pray that this water will lose its earthly significance and take on a heavenly significance. That as she takes this, oh God, let this be um, a cleansing agent. Let it be like a drug in her body. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can she hear you? Ask her how she's feeling now. I'm sorry, I forget this thing. So I'm like, yeah, I'm the I You see, she's gaining some strength. She couldn't move before, but we see her gaining some strength. Uncle, you don't. You see her gaining some strength. She's even moving. She's pushing her away. Same issue. Something is happening to her. Look at this. Are you seeing? Look at this. Look at this by herself. Oh. This is the power of the Lord. This in itself is a miracle. If you saw the way they brought her, Mama. Brother, the Holy Spirit is doing something in her life. My dear, as God grants you grace, you can just be moving your body gradually. We prayed on this. And um, Mama Gashi, Abata, Bakwa Benezesha, Kramata Dua, there was a son Abata. If you keep it there, all these children will come and do it. Stretch your hands on this prayer request as we pray. Let's pray on this request. Hallelujah. Please stretch your hands and let's ask the Lord to visit us. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. Father, we are praying right now in the name of Jesus. We are praying by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let there be a miracle. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. I'm seeing the Lord giving people miracles of jobs. Jobs. I see employment of jobs. I see a family that dropped a request here. Something about building a house. 
and it looks like you will not complete it the lord is saying before december 25th you will enter that house please pray father visit me talk to the lord tell him your request is here let there be miracles oh god let there be miracles in the name of jesus every request here to a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ requests of marriages may they be granted some of you have dropped requests here because the admission list came out and you did not see your name Lord we agree I don't know how you would do it but we agree that there be miracles In the name of Jesus. Lord, we release breakthroughs. We release all kinds of miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please lift your hands as I prophesy. Everyone. I have grown to respect the power of prophecy. I know that for many of you if I tell you which will you choose to prophesy over your life or to lay hands on you you would prefer the laying on of hands because it looks like there is a physical contact not so prophecy is powerful very powerful please I want you to shout amen from the depth of your heart this is where you get to receive everything shout amen this is where the fire gets to fall on your life this is where everybody participates in the name of jesus christ I command breakthroughs to come into your life supernatural breakthrough receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. please lay your hands on your head I pray father mm, this will come mighty on some of you a baptism of the spirit of wisdom Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it now. Now, wisdom, help him please. Wisdom in the name of Jesus. Supernatural wisdom. Understanding. Receive the impartation. Wisdom in business. Wisdom in career. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for anyone who is confused here trusting God for direction in the name of Jesus may the force of God come to you and bring you direction in the name of Jesus Christ everything you have tried and tried to do and have not been able to do I speak over your life go back and do it again go back and do it again in the name of Jesus the kind of favor you have not seen from January till now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ 
may that favor come upon your life may that favor come upon your life receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus where are the helpers who are supposed to help your destiny and have refused to locate you wherever they are everybody in life needs a helper to move to the next level between you and the next level is the ministry of a helper right now everything that has died in your hands i don't care what it is i'm prophesying to you everything that has died in your hands by the anointing of the holy spirit that same voice that called lazarus from the grave right now calls that dying business from the grave calls that dying destiny from the grave in the name of jesus christ everything that is dead in your life comes alive now hallelujah every spirit that torments you and your family in any way in dreams in visions i declare right now they are silenced forever in your life they are silenced forever in your life anyone trusting god for a job or you are standing in for someone trusting god for a job those hands that are lifted in the name of jesus the same way they are lifted above your head that's how they'll be lifted above joblessness in the name of jesus i release jobs by the power of the holy spirit whatever has covered your glory so that it is not seen and celebrated in the name of the lord god of israel i command that veil be torn into pieces every one of your family members that has been locked up by satan and stagnated in one place we release them right now 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 in the name of jesus christ anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death the devil is already planning that you and your family will celebrate christmas in tears we come with a prophetic word and we declare that death cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus I pray for every business in this place every business every shop every enterprise receive the wisdom of God receive the strength of God in the name of Jesus Christ between now and next week koinonia I pray that everyone will return with at least one testimony in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your spiritual life whatever has died in your life spiritually I command a restoration right now restoration of prayer life restoration of word life in the name of Jesus Christ every discouragement in your life and every voice that keeps speaking to you that you will never make it any devil speaking to you that you will be like those who have failed will silence that voice right now by the blood of Jesus every legal access Satan has over anyone's life we declare that that access is broken in Jesus name 
everyone called barren we bring that barrenness to an end biological barrenness financial barrenness in the name of jesus christ where you have failed go back and succeed where they have ignored you go back and be celebrated in the name of jesus listen i prophesy to you you will operate in a level of grace a level of grace that will cause men to look at you like a wonder i speak it upon your life in the name of jesus christ the same grace that can make a man become an object of discussion the grace that can make a man become an object of wonder may it come upon your life i pray for your dreams and visions all the ideas god has been trying to bring that the devil has hijacked in the spirit we command that they must be released they must be released we release the ideas we release the concepts we release the insights in the name of jesus from today i declare that as you speak it may you see it as you speak it may your hands handle it for those who are trusting god for restoration i pray for you i don't know what you have lost i command a tenfold restoration hallelujah believe what i'm telling you some of you it will do you like a dream it will be like you just woke up and say no i'm not the one may it happen to you in the name of jesus christ someone will call you and tell you they have been trying to reach you for a long time just to bless you in the name of jesus christ listen some of you will be sitting quietly in your house that's how favor will come and meet you and take you to another level in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i bring to an end every struggle in your life by the anointing of the holy spirit i pray for every pastor every leader here grace for the next level those of you who have come from other places take the fire and take it back to your regions take the fire and take it back to your regions in the name of jesus christ nothing dies in your hands nothing becomes barren in your hands in the name of jesus christ favor on all sides blessings on all sides in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah now very quickly we're out of time please keep standing everybody there are people here who are saying lord jesus i'm committing my life and my all to you please keep standing everybody no movements around there are people inside and outside here you came for this meeting and you have seen what the lord jesus christ has done and you are saying lord i want to surrender my life i've been living my life the way i want but i want to hand it over to you tonight some of you are giving your life to christ for the first time some of you are rededicating your life you said I've, I've come out once but something has happened in my life wherever you are in the next one minute i know many people outside those inside please join them come out here and i will lead you to give your life to jesus christ wherever you are young old don't sit down wait for anybody koinonia celebrate them make your way to the front don't be embarrassed this is what jesus can do with your life you've given people who are less than him your life why don't you commit everything i know this is not all there are still people inside and outside please make your way quickly god bless you as you come make your way quickly hallelujah while the rest join them god bless you keep coming quickly please hurry up and join them catch up with them it's a decision that will change your life forever we may not know who you are but we know where you are going because with jesus your journey is secured you've lived your life anyhow and you're saying i'm tired of playing games with god i want to make it right there is always room for you the throne is where you start from hallelujah praise the lord jesus i want you to lift your right hand and say after me lord jesus please say it very seriously say lord jesus i love you with all my heart i believe in you 
tonight I surrender my life completely to you take everything about me use me for your glory in the name of Jesus I receive eternal life into my spirit from today I'm not the same person again the power of sin is broken over my life in Jesus name father I pray for these ones whose hands are lifted bless them they have made a decision for you they remain in you forever give them a new life in the name of Jesus Christ may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus now, I'd like you to follow the ushers they are waving their hands they'll have your details and they'll welcome you more warmly very quickly madam we're finished praying tap that madam she can follow them hallelujah praise the Lord now all those who are worshiping with us for the first time very quickly one minute make your way to the front we want you to go back with an anointing and with a blessing honor them koinonia they are the result of your prayers our mothers our fathers our brothers and sisters thank you so much thank you so much they are the result of our prayers our commitment we prayed and asked the lord to bring you and bless you look how many people god is bringing come on celebrate jesus hallelujah now very quickly thank you so much sas mass thank you for coming this is koinonia a meeting put together by eternity network international we're here we hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share it to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain